guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do a requested video that you guys wanted me to do and that is my nail polish collection so if you guys watched my huge huge almost hour long makeup haul you know that Amy sent me so many nail polishes and now I have a total of 37 of them granted that's not all of them because when Amy did send me those nail polishes. I did share some with my sister and my mom. So I don't have every single one that she gave me, but I have, you know, some of them and then all the other ones my sister and my mom have. So I have some LA Colors, I have Wet n Wild, I have some Essie, Matt, CoverGirl, OPI. I have, I have tons of different brands. So I'm just going to take you through and kind of show you what nail polishes I have and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first two that I'm going to show you are just by LA colors and we have a um, rapid dry top coat which just looks like this you can get these at Dollar General for one dollar and then I also have a LA colors nail treatment base coat and top coat so you can use this before you apply your polish and after so I just have two of those and they are getting quite old and watery so I do need to replace these soon but those are the two top coats that I have now for LA Colors, I have a bunch of the mini ones, um, mini nail polishes, because Amy gave me a set of like, oh gosh, I think like eight, 18. So I have about 13 of the little ones with me right now, and then all the other ones Brooke has. So to start off, I have this little one. And for those of you who are wondering um, if you are like vegan or vegetarian or anything like that, LA Colors is cruelty free and they don't test on animals. So if you see any nail polishes that you like by LA Colors and you are a vegan or vegetarian, they are cruelty free. So you're clear in that area. So first off we have this little LA Colors and it's kind of like a brownish glittery gold, which I think is really, really pretty. I'll kind of like take it out of the little thing right here. So yeah, it just looks like that. Just a really pretty goldish color. Melee Colors has a great variety of different nail polishes and they're all absolutely gorgeous. Um, as in all of these LA Color LA Colors Color Craze nail polishes they have with hardeners so it kind of like hardens on the nail and keeps it really strong. As far as like a color goes I actually don't know where the colors are on these nail polishes but on the bottom it has like an indentation of the number 28 on the bottom of this one so I don't know if that'll help you at all but yeah so yeah that's a really pretty color. The next LA Colors nail polish that I have is again another little one. All of my LA Color ones are the mini ones so that's why they're going to be so small. And this one just looks like this, and this has the number indent of 23 on the bottom. Again, don't know if that'll help you, but, you know, maybe it will, maybe it won't. So it just looks like this. It's just a really kind of light pinkish gold color. Um, I will go ahead and show you, and it just looks like this on the brush. The next nail polish from LA Colors is this one, and it's kind of like a little blue-green kind of turquoise looking color and it looks like that. I hope it's showing up on camera but I actually used this to paint my toes about two weeks ago and it is a really pretty color. I think it's perfect for like spring and summer which is coming quite soon so it just looks like that. Again really bright and really pretty. The next color I have is again really really pretty and kind of a um, really dark kind of mysterious looking color and it just looks like this. Um, I hope you can see but there is a little bit of glitter in there and the bottle just looks like that and it has little tiny bits of glitter so it's like a darker nail polish um, with some purple in there. And for those of you who want to know the number, this is the number 27. Alright, so the next three little LA Colors nail polishes are my pink ones and this one is kind of like a light pink. It kind of is a dupe of the OPI Pink Friday nail polish that I have. Um, really pretty Pretty, really light baby pink. I think it would be really pretty for spring or just a natural nail polish color. This is the number 22 um, written on the bottom. Next this is one of my all-time favorite um, colors from LA Colors and this is a pink one. I do know the name of this one but I, it escapes me right now so it just looks like that. It's just a really pretty hot pink color and this is the number 22. Um, it just looks like that out of the bottle. And then the last pink nail polish that I have, this one is a bit more um, bright and out there and this one also kind of has like a burgundy-ish um, hint to it so that's what it looks like in the bottle. This is again, that's weird, what? 
Okay, so this one also says 22 on the bottom, so now I'm really confused. I don't know. So yeah, um, it just looks like this out of the bottle. Next, I have a kind of burgundy-ish looking color, and it just looks like that in the bottle. This is also number 22. I don't understand. This one's kind of like a burgundy-ish color, and it has little tints of gold undertones of glitter in there. So it's really pretty. I think this would be a really pretty holiday color. Next, I just have a little silver glitter by LA Colors. It's just your standard silver glitter, which just looks like that. Um, this is in the number 26 on the bottom. Then I have just a standard white color by LA Colors, which just looks like this. This is number 21. Um... I wonder how opaque this white is actually. Okay, so it looks like it's a pretty good consistency if you want like a white, um, oh yeah, this is a really good white. Yeah, that's a really good white color, so yeah, that's a good one. And then my very last LA Colors nail polish is this one right here. This one's very similar to this kind of like dark black with purple glitter that I showed you, and this one is kind of the same, but it's more burgundy than black. So it just looks like this out of the bottle. As you can see, there's little hints of glitter in there, and this one's more of like a dark plummy purple color. Okay, so moving on, I have two Sally Hansen nail polishes. The first one is I just have a standard white one, which just looks like that. You can also get these at Dollar General for around two-ish dollars. And this one's in the color 300, which is white on, which just looks like that. This one's getting kind of old, so it's gonna have to retire soon. So it just looks like that. And then the other Sally Hansen nail polish that I have is this is in the color 440, which is in the spotlight, which just looks like that. And this one's kind of more of like a stringy glitter nail polish. Um, so it just kind of looks like that, if you can see the little glitters in there. And it actually looks really pretty over top of a nail polish. I think it gives a great, this makes like a great accent nail. Moving on, I have two by Pure Ice. And these ones I got on purpose um, because I really liked the colors and they're just glitter nail polishes. So they look like that. I have a gold one and then I have a bluish one. Um, a, oh gosh, how long ago was it? Maybe like a couple months ago, I had black nail polish on and I had this blue color over top of it and it looked so gorgeous. This nail polish right here, this is in, this is in the color strapless and it's like a really blue, um, glittery color. So it's like, it's really, really pretty, so I hope you can see that okay. So that's what that looks like, and I found with this nail polish, it looks a lot better when you pile it on top of another nail polish. I just feel like it really, it pops more. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. And then this gold one that I have, this is in the color Bear It All, um, and it just it's just like your standard gold um, nail polish, and this also looks really pretty. I did wear this in a video as well. I think I had like pink nails and then a um, gold accent nail. So that's why I, this was the gold nail polish that you saw. Moving on, I have some by Wet n Wild, and the first one I want to get out of the way is something that you guys ask me all the time. What nail polish is that? I really want to know what nail polish that is, and it was a bright neon yellow color. And that color is, I agree with you, I understand why everyone likes it so much, because it's an absolutely beautiful color. And this is this one right here, and it is Spoiled by Wet n Wild, and it's a nail color, and I love the name of this color. It's in the number... S038 and the name of this nail polish is did I dye it too blonde? I love that name. Like, what a genius name for a nail polish. So it just looks like that. It's coming off more yellowy on camera, but in person, it's incredibly neon. And it's just, oh, it's just so beautiful. And it just works so well on the nails. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of what this nail polish looks like on the nails. Um, my only complaint with this is it is quite sheer, so I did need to do about four coats to get it to stand out. But regardless, I love this nail polish. This is one of my favorite nail polishes. And and a lot of you wanted to know what that nail polish was, and it's this one right here. Um, I don't know if you can still get it in stores because I don't know how old this collection is, but regardless, I was able to find it on Amazon and eBay. So if you're wondering where you can get this, those are your options. Next one is a nail polish that I can't ever go without, and it's just a black nail polish, and I just have this one by Wet n Wild, um, and the name of it is... Ebony Hates Chris, so there's the name of it right there, and the number 229C, and it's just a really, you know, your standard black nail polish. Um, nothing too special about it. Um, I really do like black nail polish. It's one of my favorite colors to wear on the nails, so it's just a really matte, um, 
matte black nail polish. Then the last Wet n Wild nail polish that I have is this one, and this is actually a new one, and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Rocks Glitter Nail Color, and it just looks like that. Absolutely gorgeous glitter colors in there. This would, again, would be also be really, really pretty piled on top of another nail polish, like if you have black nail polish or pink or whatever color you're rocking, this color would be, this glitter nail polish would be really pretty on top of that. So again, it just looks like that. I'm sorry I'm not doing nail swatches, but my camera, I don't want it to die on me. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, there's what the glitter nail polish looks like. Really pretty. And I plan on using this soon. I've been like, because ever since I had gotten all these nail polishes, I do my nails so often now. So it's like I'm trying to like pair up what I want to do next. So it's like a little adventure. I love it. Moving on to some more colors that I have. First, I want to get my three Essie nail polishes out of the way. And I wanted to... Um, um, kind of show you those first. So this first one I have is a really popular one by Essie and it just looks like this. Um, it's a really pretty kind of beachy blue color and this is in the color Beach Bum Blue. So the color kind of, the name kind of fits the color really well. So it just looks like that. You can get these at drugstores um, and it's in the number 736. I wore this in... Oh my gosh, what is it? I think it's my Naked 2 tutorial. I think I had this nail polish on. But it's just a really pretty... Um, nail color and it looks really pretty on. This would be perfect for like summertime if you're going to the beach or going on vacation. This is probably a really good color to wear. This next one that I have, I haven't tried yet and I've been thinking about maybe trying it soon and it is Moochie Moochie, I think. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right, but it just looks like that. And it's a really sheer, really pretty baby pink color. Um, yeah, it just looks, oh, it's just so beautiful. It's like a really pretty natural pink color. Sorry, the brush is kind of flared out right there. I don't know why. Probably my bad. Um, but yeah, that's what that color looks like. And I've been deciding, I don't know if I want to paint this on my fingernails first or my toes first. So maybe, we'll see. And then the last Essie nail polish I have, this one's my favorite out of the three. And it's this one right here. It's just a reddish gold color. And this is in the color toggle to the top and if you guys watched my Katy Perry Dark Horse make music video inspired makeup look um, a lot of you were asking what I'm wearing on my nails and the answer to that is I am wearing a red nail polish by CoverGirl which we will get to and then over top of that I'm using this Essie nail polish so it kind of gives a burgundy glittery look really pretty I loved that nail look and this was one of the nail polishes that I used. Moving on to my CoverGirl nail polishes I have um, six of the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant nail polishes and the red I was just talking about that I wore on my nails was this red right here. So it's just a really true red color um, and this is in the color 180, uh, Lasting Love. Yeah, so that's what that looks like. Here is the name if you want to see it. So it just looks like that. Um, these nail polishes are absolutely amazing for being a drugstore brand. They're absolutely beautiful, really, really pigmented, and look really pretty on the nails as well. So that's what that red color looks like. And this and this together is just makes magic. It's just amazing. Next one I have, which is really pretty, and I actually used to own an Avon nail polish in this exact same color. And it's this one right here. It's kind of like a brown, bronzy nude color, bronzy brown nude color. And this is in the color 225, which is Perfect Penny. So I guess it's kind of like a coppery color, and I'm so excited to wear this. So it just looks like that. Really, really pretty color. Hang on, it's dripping everywhere. Okay, so it just looks like that. Um, really pretty, absolutely gorgeous color. Um, I can't wait to try that as well. Moving on, I have kind of like a pinky glittery color, and this is in 313, which is Bombshell, and it just looks like that. Just pink glitter, pretty gorgeous, very girly nail polish. Um, this would be pretty for, you know, if you have like a kid. Um, if your daughter wanted to wear a nail polish, I think this would be a really cute one for her to wear. Um, really, like I said, really, really girly, really pretty. Next, I have this gorgeous blue color, and again, it's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant, and this is in 295, which is out of the blue, and it's kind of like a deep ocean blue color. I love this color so much. It's so pretty, and it just looks like that. It's very, very vibrant, very very ocean looking. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this color. Like, ugh, I'm just going to be painting my nails like once a week 
with all these different colors. This one I have is actually, I didn't even notice this until just the second, but I actually have two of the bombshell ones, the really girly um, pink glittery ones. So I have two of those, so you guys don't need to see the exact same one because I just showed you. So yeah, I have two of those. I'll probably give that one to my sister. I didn't even realize I had both of those. This next one I absolutely love, and it's in the color 310, which is grapevine. And oh my gosh, look at that color. It is absolutely amazing. I love this color. It's like a really pretty deep purple grape color, and oh, it's just so pretty. I think this would be fun to wear like on a night out or anything like that. It just looks so gorgeous, so pretty. I love that color, and it looks really matte too. Okay, yeah. It's very, very matte, very pretty. I love that color. Now, before we move on to more of my higher end nail polishes, I wanna show you one by OPI and then one by Simple Colors. So the first OPI nail polish that I have is I did mention this in a few favorite videos a while back, and it is this one right here. It's by OPI, and this is in the color Pink Friday. And for those of you who don't know, this is from the Nicki Minaj OPI nail polish collection. Um, she has a several colors that I still want to get. Like, I think there's like a greenish, like a lime greenish color that I really want. Want to get and this one's absolutely perfect I did show this on my nails before and it's just a really pretty baby pink color just looks like that um, again really sheer really natural looking so if you're looking for like a natural nail polish but with you want a little bit of color in there this one would be perfect for you it's really pretty and then next you guys also saw me use this in a nail tutorial when I showed you the 3d bow nail tutorial that I did a while back and it is this one by simple colors which just looks like that it's just a really pretty true hot pink color and this is in the color 24 7 and it's really really pretty I haven't opened it in a while so it's like all hard to open but it just looks like that um, it's coming off a little purpley on camera I don't know why but um, it is a true hot pink color and it looks gorgeous on the nails this is again one of my favorite nail polishes so moving on to my higher end um, nail polishes I have three by Mac two by Urban Decay and then I have one Marc Jacobs nail polish so the Urban Decay nail polishes that I have you guys saw if you follow me on Instagram again I did post a picture of me wearing this and this one is by um, <clears throat> or if you watched my my huge makeup haul I did show this nail polish in a video and it is Zodiac by Urban Decay and honestly like hands down Urban Decay has the best packaging for their nail polish like look at the cap it's like a skull and it's so badass looking I love that so this is kind of like a green glittery color and it's absolutely amazing I love this color again one of my favorite nail polishes to wear really gl green glittery pretty love it the next one by Urban Decay is Blackheart, and there is an eyeliner and an eyeshadow named after um, all with the same name Blackheart, so I thought that was really cool. Again, same packaging with the little skull on top, and this one is very similar to the eyeshadow as well. It's kind of like a grayish, but it has undertones of green, gold, purple in there. If you can see that, hopefully the camera picks it up, but yeah, that's what that one looks like. I have one Marc Jacobs nail polish and the packaging just looks like that. Very unique. I've never really seen nail polish with this kind of packaging. And this is in the color um, number 140 in Petra. Packaging just looks like that. And then to use the nail polish, you just kind of take this little cap off. And then you have like the little twisty. And then there you go. This one's very similar to Blackheart in a way, but this one's kind of a lot more bright and more glittery. So that's what that one looks like. On camera, again, a really pretty color. I have worn this in a few videos, I think. Um, recently, in every single video, my nails have been different because I have been trying out all these nail polishes. So you guys have probably seen me wear this on my nails. And last but not least, I have three MAC nail polishes. And hands down, I want to show you this one first because this one is my absolute favorite. And this was in, in the color Pearl Formidable. So it just looks like that. And I did show this in my huge makeup haul because I did have this on my toes. And it's kind of, it kind of makes me think of Galaxy. It's just the colors of the Galaxy. Like, I don't know, it just looks just like that. So here's what it looks like out of the bottle. Really pretty. If you guys think this looks like Galaxy 2, please give this video a thumbs up because I just think this just screams Galaxy to me. It's really pretty. There's hints of green, gold, orange, yellow, purple. Every color is in this nail polish. It's absolutely amazing. The next color I have is, I did wear this on my toes a while back, and this is in the color Screaming Bright, um, and it just looks like that. It's kind of like a gold um, 
finish right there and I did wear this on my toes and I did find that this nail polish actually makes you look very tan so I will probably be wearing this in the summer a lot just because I think it's really pretty so yeah it's just a very matte gold um pearl pearl nail polish and then the very last nail polish that I have by MAC is this one and it is in the color girl trouble and it just looks like this just a really pretty purple color and out of the thing, it looks like that. I haven't tried this nail polish yet, but I'm really looking forward to trying it because I think it's a really pretty um, purple color with little hints of glitter in there. So again, it's very girly, very beautiful, and would work for anybody with any style. Okay, everyone, so that was my entire nail polish collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I am 100% completely out of breath. I've been talking for so long. I'm sorry if this video was too long, but you guys wanted to see all my nail polishes. Well, here you go. Those were all of my nail polishes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any more video requests or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below, and I will try to get to those for you as much as possible. Again, I apologize for not being able to do nail swatches for everything, but you know how it is. Batteries just don't last as long as they should. So I'm going to get going before my camera shuts off on me. But again, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Check out my links and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.